Good morning, folks. Welcome to another video. I'm Brian Weber, and I hope you're all doing spectacular on this beautiful Sunday morning. Before I go surfing, I want to record this video and talk about something that truly amazing has happened that the CME Group, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, has come out with for traders or people that are looking to get into trading that don't have a lot of capital um, and want to keep their risk small to learn actually the markets and how to trade. And it's the E Micros. You know, currently they have the E Minis, but now they have come out with this E Micro product that is essentially just one tenth of everything on the e-mini so it's pretty amazing and this is the first week it's traded and the volume actually started picking up significantly on on friday and i think the contracts were about there about four hundred thousand contracts traded which is pretty significant when you compare it to like the ym and uh, the rty i mean it's around what the y the ym trades the dow jones futures and uh, more than the RTY, the Russell futures, uh, th those are the E-minis anyways. So, I mean, the volume is picking up. I think there's gonna be liquidity, definitely. And I think this is only the beginning. I think there's gonna be more volume. It might, I'm gonna keep an eye on it and see how it develops over the next week or months. But I want to dive into all the details and let you guys know what actually is different and if, trading these e-micros is for you and we'll go into um you know like a chart or a table i'm going to compare the e-mini and the e-micro so you guys have an idea of you know what the margins are what um how much money you need to actually trade and on all that stuff and we'll actually take a look at like some of the ticker symbols so you guys have an idea of how to access this access this uh when you're trading so let's jump onto my computer i got a little powerpoint presentation prepared for you guys let's take a look at it let's do it all right, guys, let's jump into this little PowerPoint that I have. So I'm going to break down everything you need to know about the e-micro equity features. So first off, you should be asking yourself, should you trade the e-micros? So if you've already traded e-minis and you know how to trade, and you have experience, then I would say no, don't do it. But for other reasons, such as if uh, the answer should be yes, if you don't have a lot of capital or enough capital, to trade the e-minis because remember that the e-micros are one-tenth the size as far as margin requirements go as the e-minis so it takes more money to trade the e-minis so you can get exposure to the markets if you have less money trading if you want to trade you can trade the e-micros and it's a great way to get out of sim simulation or paper trading with very little risk so every point, I'll go into more details in the next slide, but every point on, for example, on the ES, the, the E-Micro S&P 500 futures is $5. So it's four ticks, is $5 as opposed to $50. So, and I think the biggest thing for beginner traders that you should definitely trade the E-Micros. I mean, this is definitely a better alternative to trading options because the risk of, uh, like most people that start out trading want to make a lot of money and they the first thing they learn about is options and how you can make a killing but how you can but people forget that you can also lose lose your shirt and lose a lot of money and i, I think learning proper risk management and getting exposed to the psychological aspect of trading real money is very important because that's about 90 percent of trading i think trading the e-micros is a very very good way to do that and I think you guys should definitely consider it. Um, that's something I would do if I have never traded before and I wanted to get involved with trading, wanted to do it the right way, I think the e-micros is a great way to do that. Remember, managing risk and your emotions is pretty much trading in a nutshell. So let's compare the e-micro to the e-mini. So I have a table here. So, First of all, all the, the E-micros are only for the S&P 500, the NASDAQ or the NQ, the YM, or that's also the Dow Jones futures, and then the RTY, which is just the Russell, the small cap businesses uh, in the United States. So previously, for the E-mini, like I was saying, if you look across here, everything is just one-tenth. So contract size is just how much you would have to pay if you held into expiration, but we don't ever do that as a trader. So for the E-mini, it's just 
whatever the value of a point is times what the index is trading at. So you can just see that it's one tenth for the, the E micros. So that's something you shouldn't be worried about, but because you're never as a trader going to be holding into when those are, those positions are settled expiry. But the most important part is the value of one tick, and this is per contract right now. And one tick on the E mini S and P 500 is twelve dollars and fifty cents, but the E micro is a dollar twenty five. So, and I'll talk about the commission structure too. From I'm just assuming all this all this information from AMP because that's the broker I use and that's the broker I recommend too. So the E the NQ normally the E mini trades at five dollars per tick, twenty dollars per point. It is now fifty cents per tick and two dollars per point. The YM E mini was five previously five dollars per point, and it moved it actually per tick. It actually moves the YM moves each tick is actually a point because of the the larger number of the index. So now each tick will actually be fifty cents, and each point will each every every ten points on the YM E micro you'll have five dollars, and then the Russell the RTY typically is $5 per tick and $50 per 10, 10 ticks or I would say a point. And now it's 50 cents per tick or $5 per, per a point. So the ticker symbols, so how you would actually find this on your, on your broker or your, the charts that you're using or the, the trading software. And I'll show you, I'm gonna use thinkorswim and I think the same applies to trading view. It might be a little different on, on AMP if you're using them, because I think the ES is actually the EP. But um, the ticker symbol is just preceded with an M. So that's all you need to know. And if you type it in on TOS, and I'll show you, it's usually forward slash, then this ticker symbol. So it just has an M in front, but the biggest difference is the RTY, which is M2K. It's no longer the RTY for the E micro. Uh, okay, so the day trading margin requirement, and this is per amp, and this is probably going to be the, the least amount of margin requirement of all brokers because amp is just simply awesome what they offer. Um, so the E-mini is normally for the S&P 500 is $400 for, the, for day trading. So it's buying and selling on the same day. It's now $40, so you only need 40 bucks to cover one contract on the E-micro for the S&P 500. For the NASDAQ E micro NQ, it's 50 bucks. The YM E micro, it's 50 bucks. And then the RTY E micro is $25. And overnight margin requirement, if you ever decide to hold a position overnight, which I don't recommend, as you can see this past week, we've had some crazy gaps. You could have lost, pretty much lost your ass. You would have been down several thousand dollars on the S&P 500 futures had you been long into last Friday. You had a huge gap against you, would have lost a couple thousand dollars. I don't know if you would have held or averaged down, but you would have been in a bad situation. But just in case something happens, the money that you need in your account to cover that contract through a session, you, it, for the E-mini is actually $6,300, and this actually adjusts based on the volatility. But uh, the E-micro for the S&P 500 is now it's 600 bucks. So like if you just look across, everything's one-tenth. NQ is $760 for the E-micro, the YM is $590, and the RTY is $355. And the contract months are the same. You have March, June, September, December, and the, the contract months that are associated with that. So I'm sure you guys are wondering, what is the minimum count balance? How much money do I actually need to trade these E-micros? And it's kind of interesting to me that this is what AM says on their on their website. They said that they they lowered their minimum account balance from $100 down to $25, which really doesn't make sense to me because if you trade the ES micro, it to t you need 40 bucks to cover one lot, so you're already getting margin called if you only have 25 bucks. So my recommendation is to not use $25 because you what if you take one trade, if it goes against you, you're automatically getting liquidated and getting a fee for that. So you'll be actually be negative with their liquidation fees. 
So I would recommend starting with at least a hundred bucks with one contract, but I think 250 bucks, maybe even $500 is a good starting point just to give yourself some cushion. You know, it's, it's not a lot of money to get exposure to the market. And I think, uh, I think everyone could come up with an extra hundred bucks or $250 if you want to actually get involved with trading and you're serious about it. Um, so the biggest thing is what are the commissions? This is the last slide I have because this is most important. If, if I'm only making $5 per point, $1.25 per tick on the ES for the E-Micro, how much does it actually cost me round trip? Is it even worth trading? Am I, am I gonna make any money if I even make one tick? And I believe the answer is yes, according to AMP's website. So I'm gonna show you what they actually posted and break it down. And I'll provide these links in the description on this video, but the E-mini is roughly $4 for total round trip, and that's buy and sell per contract, so it's, it's roughly four bucks every time you trade the E-mini. So, but the fee schedule for the E-micro, and like I said, this is according to AMP, if you add up all the fees, they're saying total per size is around 37 cents, which is incredibly cheap, and I looked up on their website to verify this, and this is for the E-micro, compared to the E-mini, the S&P 500 futures, the round turn, which is just the buying and selling of one contract, it's around 54 cents. But I think it might be a little bit more. Um, it just depends. But I think this, what I'm concluding at from what I've seen on their website, that if you make at least one tick, you're covering the cost of your commission, similar to the E-mini. So that's, that's really good news that AMP is offering you this. And I actually looked at TD Ameritrade, and their commission structure, you, you have to make more than a point on a trade with ES on the E-Micro to even cover your commission. So you're in the hole already. So that's why I don't trade with TD Ameritrade because their commission structure is just terrible when you're trading futures. But that's pretty much breaking down everything, like all the information on the on what you need to know like for these E-Micro contracts. But let's take a look really quick on Let's how you could find this on on for example thinkorswim. Let me just reshare my screen to my toss screen. So this right here, if I type in forward slash M E S, so you have all the contract months here. This is the current one in June. So I click that, brings it up. So you can see there wasn't any volume on Monday. So it slowly started increasing. You had like 10,000 contracts Monday, 15,000 Tuesday, almost 20,000 on Wednesday, almost at 40,000 on Thursday. And this is, this is a good sign right here on Friday. We had almost 400,000 contracts trade. So I think this should only increase into next week. And it looks like there's pretty good liquidity when I'm looking at the charts. I don't see a lot of gaps in the candles, which is good, and uh, I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a really good thing for beginner traders. So if you look at the NQ, M, NQ, there's all of those, and then forward slash. They don't have a mini E micro contract on oil yet, which would be pretty cool if they did. So I'm looking out to see if CME actually does that. If you do E N forward slash M Y M. There's the Dow, and then if you do, or even Bitcoin would be nice too if I did that. And then of course the 2K, that's the Russell. So, yep, that's all I got for you guys. I hope this was helpful. And if you guys are gonna trade the e -micro, e micros, just let me know. Let me know how it goes and what your experience is. I'd be interested to hear your feedback on it, and I'll be keeping an eye on it as well. And uh, if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, just go ahead and click that logo that's popping up now. I appreciate all your support on my YouTube channel thus far to all my subscribers. And I will talk to you all soon. Enjoy your weekend and the rest of the weekend and your Sunday. Take care. Bye.